So this is what happens when Ashley shops by herself. <laughs> <laughs> um, she, party size. Yeah, this is actually the party size. Kevin and I, she called and wanted to know if we would wanted if she she said if I buy these the Stouffer's enchiladas, um, can we have them for? Will you eat them too with me? And we're like, sure. So we were expecting her to get the family size. She comes in with a party size, uh, but it says there's like eight enchiladas in here. So we. I am almost positive we reviewed these a long time ago. Uh, probably a couple of years. Is it cold? Very cold. Probably a couple of years ago. But anyway, um, Ashley gets in the mood for these just every so often. I'll be honest, I prefer Kevin's homemade enchiladas. Um, of course, anything homemade I think is going to be better than what you can get in the store. But these are still good. So, um, oh, you got to make it a little fort. You got to make a little tent. A little so tent. So, yeah, it just says bend it. Yeah. Okay, so, the, but it has to cook for an hour and 20 minutes. Hard, yeah. yeah. So, I'll show you how this looks when it comes out. So, how long was that in there? Like an hour well, and 10 minutes? An hour and 20. Hour and 20. So, you take the, the um, thing off the top, your tent. And you put it back in for five minutes. Yeah, actually, I was supposed to put it in there the five, last five minutes it's baking, but I forgot. So five minutes extra is not going to kill it. So Kevin's going to make my plate for me. And I told him that I want two of these because they're like, I don't know, 270 calories a piece. They're 270 a piece. Yeah. So um, it looks like you get corn and rice and there we go. It they're looks very, like potatoes. It's very dense. It's rice. Yeah. So that's what uh, my dinner looks like for tonight. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making a roast. This is a, a boneless chuck roast. So I love the crock pot. I know a lot of people like their instant pots. I like the crock pot. So I'm just going to take this out of the package. And I've had it in the refrigerator overnight, but there's some of it that's still frozen. You can take this out from completely frozen and put it right in the crock pot. Now, um, something that uh, people have um, got on to me for something that when people watch my videos and they see me cooking meat. Um, they always, I always get people that say, oh, you didn't wash it off. You didn't rinse it off. Oh no. Well, I'm 47 years old and I have never rinsed my meat off before. Never. And I've watched other YouTubers and most of them don't rinse their meat off before either. Um, so not everybody does that. And if you cook your meat properly, you won't have any problem. I've never gotten sick from my meat. Um, and no, no one else has either. So I don't know. I mean, that's just a different, you know, different way. People cook in different ways. And I guess some people were raised to do that. I was never raised to wash my meat off because like I said, if you're getting it to the right temperature, there is no need to do that at all. But I'm going to be using this Lipton recipe secrets. This is the onion. And uh, you can use it to make dip or whatever. Normally, I use this in a pork roast. However, ever since we went to that wedding about a week ago, I have been craving just something else on my beef roast. Um, so, I'm going to try this on a beef roast and see how it tastes. I know it's wonderful on a pork roast. And also, uh, when we cooked out about a week ago I, um, I bought this purple onion and we didn't use it all so I'm gonna put the purple onion in here and I'm just gonna let it cook as well and this will probably take it'll probably take three and a half hours to cook and so it's one o'clock right now I will give you all updates and we'll see how long it takes I thought we'd come around here and check on the growth of the hostas cuz I know y'all care about my hostas right <laughs> They've gotten bigger. And you see how thick they are? Yeah, they've gotten a lot bigger. I swear they're popping up here and I don't even remember them being there last year and I don't remember them being that close to the fence, although they might, because uh, once they spread, it's hard to tell where they are. And then I have these on this side. 
Let's check on the growth. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That is so gorgeous. This is my bleeding heart. And I'm so happy with it. it it's You can tell that it's this is the perfect place for it. It's a very, very happy plant. And I don't know if any of my rose bushes have started um, doing anything. Because, you know, I had to cut them back. Because uh, I didn't cut them back when I should have, like, in the fall. Yes. Okay. So, it's going to take a little while. But they are... Um, they're coming out. See? They're coming out. And the bumblebees, I tell you what, those carpenter bees are something this year. Somebody said that the bees are supposed to, um, that uh, they're really in danger, the bees. But I tell you what, I've seen more bees around here this year. I don't know why, but um, yeah, they don't. They don't seem to be in danger around here, at least not these. There's one here, there's one behind this bush. They're, I mean, they're flying all over the yard. If you watch, you probably can't tell through the camera, but I mean, my goodness, they're everywhere. Um, so, so yes, the rose bushes are gonna take a little while, but they are coming back out. Honestly, mom's the one that had the rose bushes planted, the knockout rose bushes planted. Um, before she died. I would rather have the um, peony bushes. That's just me. Um, I, I, they, they don't have thorns. They don't prickle. You know, they don't hurt. And I would rather have those. So, but uh, that's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill them or anything. But I'm just saying, I would rather have these. Okay, I started this at 1. It is 325, so I have not opened this since, but I can tell you it smells terrific, and it's driving Guido crazy. Guido is just like, he thinks it's time to eat because he smells food. So, um, so this is how it looks, and um, it, it will make its own juice. I've told you all before, I never put any, I'm going to scoot this closer to me. I never put any juice in my roast because it'll make its own juice. But I'm going to turn this over because you can see I can get that fork in there. So I'm going to turn it over and the onion will fall under it, which is fine. If I can turn it over without it falling apart. There we go. See all that juice? Beautiful, beautiful juice. Yes. But see, it needs to cook. It needs to cook on this side. So, but it looks wonderful. So I'll show it to you when it's finished. When I tell you it's driving Guido crazy, this is what I mean. He's like right here <laughs> waiting to see, when are you gonna feed me? And it's only 327. So it's gonna be a while, buddy. Not that he can hear me. This roast is looking so good. And I went ahead and fed Guido. It's five minutes after five. So if you want to know what time it is. So it, it, this is done. It, it's cooked completely. It's perfect. Um, and you can see all the seasoning in the bottom. And the onion is underneath. The onion is completely cooked through. You see how I just picked that up with my fork and it just fell apart. And there's more in the bottom there. So... Now I'm going to, I'm just going to keep that covered, keep it hot, and um, I'm going to move it to the side, and then I'm going to peel some potatoes to go with this.
cheese in that milk my cap. Put the lid on it. Uh, and then now I need you to help me get the some juice out of that roast. Oh. And then this will be done. It's huge by the way. Well, I actually bought it. <laughs> Is this done with the lid? Yeah, 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 turn it off. Go ahead. Yeah, turn it off. Go ahead. Um, is this the kind you just put? Yeah, you can use whatever, man. dinner tonight we're having uh, macaroni and cheese just cooked on the stove and roast and I have some onion there and some potato like sweatshirt sweater and it's from airy and the reason he's it's wearing woman's, by the, way. <laughs> the reason he's wearing it is because ashley went to the outlet store and she bought one in this orange and she bought a red one so i wore the red one like a week ago and it she they're both a medium on the inside the tag say medium and so i wore the red one and it fit perfect it was just perfect I put this one on it and it looked like a dress. And Kevin said, I think I could wear that. So, so clearly the sizes at outlet stores may not be quite the yes, right Yeah, I would try it on at the outlet store. And if you can't, then I would hold this, this them up. This is like a men's extra large. Yes. Not that, a medium. No, not so at all. this would be like a women's 2X or something. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's just way, <laughs> it looked like a dress. Okay. So, yeah, I thought it was funny. You all had to see Kevin in airy clothes. We are having a uh, pizza party Friday night. Yeah, pizza pizza. Party, party night. we're having the holy pepperoni screaming Sicilian pizza, and uh, there's your timer. So, uh, 
Kevin just took it out and he uh, uh, moved the pepperoni around so that it has some on all of it. Yeah, it was kind of down at one side. Yeah, so it's he's going to... It's not too awfully bad. No, I don't think you need to wipe it up. Sometimes you have to get a... Like a paper towel, like uh, the... Dab at yeah. it, yeah. And yeah, we don't need to now. So Ashley says, Mom, my car smells. My car stinks. I want to preface this with it's been a very busy week and I have had not had time to go to a gas station. And that's normally where I throw away my food. So it's food. It's food funk. Food funk in the car. So we're just going to walk out here and see how bad it is. I tell you what, it's like 40 something degrees out here. It's, it's nasty. And that's, wow. There's Sonic in the lunchbox. There's, in the lunchbox you have Sonic? Yeah, because someone was getting in my car so I was trying to trap the smell. What is this from? I don't know. Okay. So that's something. Chick-fil-A. McDonald's. There's shoes down here. It's pretty bad. So we cleaned out the car. And we have a, an entire bag. There is an entire bag. And look, I found a bottle of maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, Ashley has maple syrup in her car. We have clothes, every growing girl needs. <laughs> clothes, everything. I have a box here to open from Mona and I have not opened it. I took it out of the package and um, I cut the tape, but I have not opened it yet. Okay, we have some, these are lint mousse au chocolat. So, and oh, and this one, this one actually, this package is open. I want you to look at the bottom of the package. It is, it is open down here. And this is the truffle. It looks like it's a vanilla truffle. So it's just, uh, it's fine, it's just the bottom, the bottom of the package came open, so I will tape it shut. So we have vanilla and we have chocolate, and I know you are not seeing me get this until after Easter, but she's actually sending, she sent them in plenty of time for Easter. It, um, it's actually Saturday when I'm filming this, it's the day before, but since um, some of my vlogs have ran longer than others. I have cut the day short, and so I haven't been running the, I haven't been, the, the vlogs haven't gone probably as long as they should have as far as like seven days, seven days, seven days. So anyway, I'm getting this before Easter. So thank you very much, Mona. I can't wait to try those. But then I got a letter from Pamela, and Pamela lives in North Carolina. I don't want to tell exactly what city you live in, but Pamela lives in North Carolina, and she was so nice to write to me. She sent me a card, and this is the card, and she, um, she was just so sweet. She's asking me about uh, my hair. She said this says that her hair is very similar in texture and that um, she's uh, wondering about the way that I wear it and if I have any tips for her. And I will just tell you, when I was little, my hair is very, it's very fine, uh, very, very fine, and it is stick straight. And so when I was little, my mom believed in getting perms. She... Uh, she got perms when she was little, so it was the thing to do uh, back in the 80s was to get a perm. So I always had to endure that, and I hated it, and it always smelled horrible. And um, so if I wasn't getting a perm, then I was using a curling iron to do my bangs, or I was using hot rollers. As a matter of fact, we still have hot rollers. Uh, Pamela says that uh, she uses um, uh, either electric curlers, hot rollers, or she uses sponge rollers. I've used sponge rollers in the past, and the reason I don't use them on a regular basis is just because they leave it really, really tight curls. And um, I, if if we're going somewhere, a lot of times I will use the hot rollers 
mainly we bought them for Ashley. We bought her, um, I think she has two sets uh, because you only got like eight in a set. It wasn't like the big, the nice sets that like my mom had and I had when I was a kid. I had a, a really big set in a plastic container and you would open the lid and you had these nice uh, chunky white plastic uh, uh, rollers and they would have metal up uh, on the inside of them and they were just really, really nice. Um, Ashley's are, are really nice, but they're not made of the same stuff that they were back in the 80s, of course. But I rarely use rollers unless we're gonna be going somewhere. And then sometimes I'll roll it and it's way too tight of a curl for me. I don't like the way that I look with curly hair. I just don't. So normally when I roll it and it comes out in ringlets, I'll end up just taking it and just <laughs> basically doing this a lot or rubbing a roll of putting a brush through it a lot. Um, I just, I don't like my hair uh, curly and I think it's uh, great that other people can pull that off. I just don't think it looks good with my face. I think it, it I think it adds a lot of weight to my face, a lot of heaviness uh, to have curls. It, it just, for me, I think it, it adds weight. And um, so even though my mom still, uh, up until the time she died, she was getting perms, she was getting her hair colored, she was getting her hair fixed all the time. I'm not that person. I am a um, very, very low maintenance person <laughs> um, and I hardly do anything to my hair. So Pamela was wondering if I could give her any tips and it sounds like you go to a lot more effort than I do. And I, I think that's wonderful if you want to do that. Uh, and a lot of people that uh, work outside the home, you know, they, they wanna spend more time on their appearance. For me, and you would think with me doing YouTube videos, a lot of people I'm sure put on extra makeup or they probably do extra stuff with their hair. Um, I've, I'm just never worried about it. So when I get up, my hair pretty much looks like this and I will brush it straight back and then just kind of let it fall where it falls and I will put my bangs, I will move my bangs. Um, but I do use hairspray and Ashley thinks that is an old fashioned thing to do. She doesn't think that uh, the kids these days, she doesn't think that they use a lot of hairspray and that might be true. I use a lot of hairspray. I've always used a lot of hairspray because I, I don't want to go out in the wind and for it to be all over the place. And most of the time it is anyway, but I use, uh, I do use a lot of hairspray on my, uh, on my bangs just because I don't want it to move. Um, I've always been that way, but I don't do anything to it. I don't roll it. I don't, uh, I don't use a curling iron. I don't use rollers. I don't use anything at all. It is, um, and since I've gotten it cut, um, I do, it is easier. I have to say that. Um, she cut it shorter than I wanted. I wanted it to be more down to here. And I know that doesn't seem like a big difference, but it is just barely to my shoulders. Um, that's okay, because that means, it, it just means it'll be longer before I have to go back, right? Because I don't, I don't enjoy uh, going. Although the, the girl that I went to, I really liked her and, and she made it, she made it a really pleasant experience to sit there because she had a, she talked to me a lot and she had a lot to say and I had a lot to say and and she was from Winchester and so we just had a lot to talk about. We knew some of the same people so it was really, really nice. Um, uh, so I liked her but she did cut it a little shorter but um, truly Pamela, I, you were asking me about bangs. I've always had bangs. I can't imagine not having bangs. Um, usually they're a little short when I first get them cut for probably the first week, but I don't even worry about it because I think 
you know, in a week they'll be fine. They'll be a little bit longer. So who cares? I just, um, I don't look at myself a lot in the mirror during the day. I, um, I don't even carry a brush or comb with me in my purse. I don't carry any cosmetics in my purse. So once I'm finished with it, then I really don't look at myself again. And I probably should, especially before I go in front of the camera because Kevin and I have gone out to the store before and we've done all kinds of grocery shopping and it's been raining or the wind's been blowing and we'll come right in and I'll have bought something new and we'll do a review and then I'll watch it later and it's like my hair was everywhere or my makeup was under my eyes or something. I'll think, you know, if I had just thought to go look in the mirror, I would have seen that I need to fix myself but I just don't even worry about it. And I feel like, you know, you all don't judge me. You're, you're looking at the food. You don't care what I look at like because you're wanting to hear about the food. So I wish that I had some advice to give you about your hair. Um, I do have to say this is very easy to take care of. I don't use any uh, special shampoo or conditioner, anything like that. And um, the... Uh, hairspray that I use is uh, it's in the black can it's the uh, Tresemme and it's like the super hold I think it's uh, number four or something like that so I don't do anything special with it at all literally I just brush it out in the morning brush it over to the side and that's it so thank you for your card though I really appreciate it and Mona I cannot wait to try these Easter eggs because uh, you know I I love the lint chocolate anyway. Seven forks. Yeah, seven forks. Um, so, do you think we need knives? I I don't know. I don't. I know. I don't cut my chicken with a knife. Does anybody? Don't you use your fingers? I use my fingers or yeah. Fingers I don't think we need a knife. Okay. So it's just seven forks. No. Yeah. Get uh, seven of those bunny napkins. Big one. Yeah. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. No, that's pretty much it. Because uh, we'll we'll have our whatever we drink. Will you get that? Because of the time of year, it just sounds nuts. But we only had it, I think, once last year. Chili. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, especially like today, because it's cold. But not as cold chili. Um, now, what pan do you want to cook macaroni in, and what pan pan do you want to cook hash browns in? That's where I'm going to skill. Like the big blue one? Uh, yeah. Because this one's not big enough. And do you want the lid too? Um, yeah, I use it. Okay, and what about um, macaroni? Macaroni. Macaroni. I kind of like the tall one because it's less likely to blow over. 
It's amazing how much water these pans hold. Because it takes forever to fill them up. Do you want all this in the garbage? Yeah, but I've got the onion. Oh, you've got the onion, okay. Yeah, that looks good. This is what we're having for Easter dinner. I know it's not typical Easter dinner, but this is what my family will eat. Andrew would rather have chicken than ham. So that's what we decided to do. So we're having baked macaroni and cheese and fried chicken and hash brown casserole. And these are uh, Sister Schubert's rolls and corn and then a salad. And, and we have all these little salad fixings to go with it. So there we go, that's it. So here is my first plate of food. I have a chicken thigh, salad, macaroni and cheese, hash brown casserole, and a roll. So I'm eating more. I'm eating a chicken leg this time, a drumstick, and another roll, because they're little bitty, and some more hash brown casserole, and some more macaroni and cheese. And then I'll be stuffed. Okay, Gavin opened his Easter basket, and these are the mystery figures that he got, the mystery Lego figures. So she's like a punk rocker, and he looks like, um, uh, what's that? Uh, what, I don't know what his name is. And a golfer, and then you've got her, um, and then you've got this uh, Minecraft one. This creeper, and that's a person who's going to be the creeper. Yeah, and that's and, cool. And show them this. Okay, what do you do? Yeah. You push it. Yeah, and, it, and it, 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 it flies off, but Gavin's trying to be good so it won't fly off in the corner. So, yeah, I don't want it to fall down here. Which one do you like the best? Um, Raiders of the Lost Ark is who I was trying to think well, of for like that her. one. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Just an experiment. So Kevin's making these steaks. He's getting ready to grill them out back. And we have never, ever, ever seen a security device on meat before. Can you see what I have never, like you would have on a, a DVD or a CD what? or something like that, or a per expensive perfume. They did cost 21, um, uh, sorry, $26. Um, they were originally 45 yeah. though. Yeah, yeah $45. So, uh, but I've never seen, no. that is a they legit. Must have an issue. Yeah, they must have people going in there in Kroger. That's from Kroger. They must uh, be going in there and, um, Still in it. Save more when you buy more. Save $10. Yeah. yeah. Um, when we bought these, I told Kevin, I said, I feel like Fred Flintstone because these are absolutely, I don't think I've ever had a steak this big. And Kevin says he has, and I'm sure he has. Why I have not. not want a steak this big? <laughs> it's just a lot of meat. How many, how many calories do you think I'm sorry oh, each? God, no. Does it not have it on there? No. Um, it's almost, it's 3.27 pounds for the entire thing. For the, no, really? Yeah. Okay. It was basically a pound each. Oh, <laughs> a pound a piece. Yeah. So what are you putting on there? Just nature season. Nature season. Do you always do that? Just a little bit. Okay. So while Kevin is cooking our steak, um, I'm going to eat this, uh, some of the salad. We, when we make it for dinner, um, we made it yesterday for Easter, uh, we make like three times the amount you, we need because Kevin goes ahead and cuts up a whole uh, head of lettuce and a whole cucumber and everything. So usually I take about half of it and put it on the table for dinner and I save the other half for the next few days. So I'm going to have that, but also we bought some of these seedy buns and see they have the seeds on them. And so we take them and we put uh, just a thin, thin layer of butter on them. And then Kevin cooks them on the grill with our steaks. So when he starts to do that, I'll show it to you. Huh? So this is how he does the bread. I thought you laid it on top of the steak. I do once it gets just a little bit toasty because the butter was. Okay. 
So I get it just a little brown and then I'll sit it on top. And then he'll set it on top of the steak so the steak juice will get on the, the bun. And it's delicious. It's absolutely wonderful. I love it. So here is my steak. Absolutely massive. And um, I'll show you in the end how much I eat. If I eat it all, I'll show you the, the bone. And if I don't, I'll show you how much I have left. So this is how much uh, steak I'm leaving, which is uh, probably about half, but I did eat a whole bowl of salad and um, I ate uh, half a bun. I'll probably go ahead and eat the other half of this bun too. So I've eaten a whole bun and a big salad and half a steak. So that's a lot of dinner. So we are at Meyer, and they have their Toy Story 4 display with all of their toys out. These are really cute, but they're $30, but they're really cute. Um, I had this Barbie. I literally had this Barbie, but her arms did not bend like that. Her arm was straight. I had that outfit. Um, but they have a game. They have uh, bigger toys down here. These are like bathtub toys. The round yeah, the little round ones. Let me see what they have over here on the end. Over here they have Bo Peep and a rabbit. And over, see, so they're still getting it out. So they've got a lot more stuff that they're gonna be getting out. But I think that's cool. What is this? Oh, yeah, Toy Story 4. Uh, those are gummies and these are gummies. I forgot to show you our dinner tonight. This is tuna casserole and Ashley actually made it after she got off work today. And so uh, we've already had a little bit for dinner. Gonna have a little bit more, uh, but it's very, very good. And who are you? Who are you? How you <laughs> Sad. We have two packages to open for you. This one is East. Valley Cashews, East Val Valley Cashews Variety Cashew Nut Snack Pack. And, I can get it out. <laughs> okay, there is no name on this. A little treat from the East Valley Cashew's team. Oh, so they're sending him to you. Thanks for putting on a great show. Enjoy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. Did we try any of this stuff before, maybe? No. No, we've, no we've never had this brand. Uh, so they have cacao cashew nuts, chili lime cashew snack, and roasted cashew snack. Um, and those yeah. have, um, they have uh, dark tropical cacao or coconut chips and lime or wild coconut chips. This is really cool. I'm wondering where they are located. Uh, you know, I always like to know where people are located. Vegan friendly, non-GMO. Where are they located? No. Mm -hmm. um, you would think they would have... Might be under that label if they were stuck, but who knows. Oh, yeah, there's a label on here. Is there an address on that thing? On that package? I just like to know where things are made. And that's just, it's a curiosity it's thing. It says Train Street, Lexington, by Vesci. That's just where it should be. Oh, okay. Out. Well, I'll find out. I mean, it might be in Lexington. Thank you very, very much. Uh, that's a great surprise. I appreciate it. I just, uh, I always get curious about where things are made. So, thank you. Um, this box is from Bobby in California. Ooh. And, ooh, she sent me some box tops. That's the yeah. I know uh, some of the things that are in here and I'm very, 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 very excited. Uh, she sent me some box tops. Thank you. Uh, Main Street train station. 
That is awesome. We, we were actually looking at those just the other day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me, uh, now that uh, Kevin is showing you this, this is a metal earth kit. They come in uh, these flat metal um, sheets and then Kevin puts them together. Kevin assembles them. And I have shown videos of them, um, of his collection on Kevin's Movie HQ channel. Uh, I put together one or he two He's put them. together a couple. I think he maybe he even showed his collection on that channel at that point. But I have had many requests for us to make a Word document uh, just like my Starbucks mug collection, I in every in all the videos, the newer videos at least, not all videos, but I have a link that you can click on it and you can see my whole Starbucks collection. And it, I'm going to be adding a couple to that. I can't wait. Um, so uh, we have gone through all of Kevin's Metal Arts. I went through them all and I wrote down all the names and then Kevin created a document um, that you can click on and you can see the list of all the Metal Earth uh, uh, pieces that he owns, that he's put together because a lot of you uh, <coughs> like to send these to Kevin and uh, you don't want to get duplicates because they're they're pricey, they're expensive. I don't know how much this one was. They're usually around 15 yeah, so, the, so they're not cheap, and so you don't want to buy something that Kevin already has. So um, you will be able to, um, I'll make sure I put it in the descriptions from, from this video on, and you'll be able to click on that and see all the ones that Kevin owns. Yeah. So thank you very much. I greatly Kevin. enjoy them. So if you do, which I'm not asking you to, but if you do, I always enjoy them. So. This is Main Street Station at yeah, Disneyland. The train and this is Starbucks have come out with new mugs at their parks. Uh, they've done away at, Disney. at yeah at Disney. What you said Starbucks. I said Starbucks. Out. Starbucks has come out with new mugs for Disney. For Disney for the Disney <laughs> parks. Yes, I'm thinking of Disney in my head at the Disney parks. So I have the um, the older ones. So these are the some of the new ones at Disneyland. Um, it's funny their bags haven't changed in ages. No, um, no, they haven't. And I'll tell you something about this bag in just a minute. Uh, this is Disney California Adventure. It's cool looking. Look at that. Look at that tilt of spin. I love this. Absolutely. A gateway to the golden dream of California. And you've got that one that you put yeah. together. It was all started by a mouse. Do they actually have that in the park? A Ferris wheel? Yeah, it's at California Adventure. See, they don't have a Ferris wheel. At it's there. not in the park. California Adventure is like a... A separate thing. A separate thing. Yeah. yeah. I think about it. Because um, that looks like more carnival rides. Yeah, that's that's the California Adventure. It kind of reminds me, uh, just from seeing pictures and stuff, of like a boardwalk type thing. Yeah. To where, that's what it looked like. Uh, to where Disneyland is like uh, a park park. And okay. this seems, it seems like it's a boardwalk park. You all can correct me if I'm wrong because we have not been there. Uh, but let me show you this up close because um, this is cool. I listened to uh, a Disney podcast and uh, they, the guy at the end always says, uh, and remember it was all started by a mouse. And so uh, that's cool that that has that uh, written on the cup right Dude, here. Stay out of the lakes. Oh, now he does that. <laughs> no, I'm talking about- It's a about, different one, though. It's a different stay out of the one, lakes. yeah. <laughs> that's funny, he always says that too. Stay out of the damn lake. <laughs> he does say that. Okay, and then this one is, oh, uh, and this one this says Disneyland. The the wildest ride in the wilderness. Yes, I love those. Those look like little baby girl, baby boy, uh, baby colors. It does. The happiest place on earth. Yes, I know. Anytime uh, we are have been on the bus and you go uh, under that sign, it's just excitement. You, it doesn't matter how old you are, uh, you get excited when you're there, and to see everything. It's it's uh, it reminds me. Um, uh, when we would go uh, on youth trips, bus trips, we would go to, are we blurry? That always looks blurry to me. No, it's blurry. 
Okay, when we would be on the bus trips with the youth group and we would go to King's Island mm -hmm. and everybody was looking for like the Eiffel Tower yeah, or, the or, roller coasters. or the roller coasters and it's like you just get excited when you see it. For, well, for Disney, there's this main um, like arch. An arch, a sign, and, and you, when you get to Disney property and it's just very, very exciting. And thank you very much. And thank I you for the Middle Earth too. I enjoyed it. Yes, thank I you. I haven't put one together for um, a while. The, what I was going to say about these bags, I probably have told you all this before. When they first came out with these bags, the whole bag was blue. So like the handle part was blue as well as this. And it in Florida, it's just these torrential downpours, and it's, it'll come out of nowhere, and it'll just pour for, it might only last 15 minutes, and then it'll be gone, and you'll never know that it ever happened, but we got stuck in the rain, and we were carrying these bags all day, and the top was blue, so when it rained, your hands literally were smurf blue. Oh, yeah, they bad. So the next year we went, they had changed the bags because yeah. I'd say they had a lot of complaints about You could have got on your clothes or anything. Uh, yeah, if you had had it leaning against your clothes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It would have gotten again. Or against sweat, your clothes. sweaty hands and anything. Yes, yeah. So, so, yeah, I guess even if it hadn't rained, mm -hmm. that would have happened. Would have been, yeah. um, so, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm glad that uh, Bobby did not send me any chocolate, and I'm glad that the uh, East Valley Cashews did not have chocolate because I wanted to tell you all, it's getting that time of year. It's in the 80s. It's very, very hot outside. It's hot out today. And um, even it, though you're sending stuff to the post office, it probably won't, wouldn't make it. Uh, just sitting in the truck and, you know, because even... Um, when they, you just don't know how it's getting there and you don't know that it's not gonna melt. So I would caution um, you, anyone against sending anything that's gonna melt at all. Um, Alicia sent me some Victoria's Secret coupons and I wanna say thank you to Alicia for those. I really, really appreciate it. I'm just gonna end the vlog for the week right here, right now. I have no idea how long it's gonna be. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just going to end it here because, um, I, I'm just, I'm sure it's going to be long enough. Uh, but thank you all very, very much. I appreciate it. When Kevin puts this together, I always show them in the vlogs. I show what they look like, him taking them out. And then I show what they look like afterwards. So you will definitely get to see this. And I'm going to add this to the list. And I'm going to add these mugs to the list. So if you do click on the, the link, it's in the description below. You'll see these mugs on there as well. So thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you next week.